Hi, my name is Colin Lyons. We're going to be doing an unboxing video today. And this is Bugsy! Alright, so we'll be looking at a remote product, um, which I do use remotes a lot, shooting weddings. And um, this one is Yugono, Yuguno, however you want to say it. I was trying to find it on YouTube, but quite frankly, there's a lot of different versions of it out there. And um, it's about the most and simple most simple and least exciting unboxing which is one small remote it also includes um, a cable that breaks apart to include two different sizes this is for uh, use with monolites like alien bees which is exactly what I'm excited about and then we have a simple remote controller uh, and a little warranty card and what appears to be some kind of proof of authenticity Great, so what is so exciting about this remote that I want to make a YouTube video about it? Probably nothing. But in the case of this product, what we have here is a product that's going to get rid of remotes. So how does that work? How does a remote get rid of remotes? This remote is designed to function with the Canon system, the Canon RT system specifically, the 600 RT. There's a new one coming out, a smaller one, but we'll assume everyone's using this one. The device is fairly simple. <clears throat> I'm going to take two batteries, which are not included in the packaging. The product is uh, a little bit larger than you'd expect. It's very light. Um, this is because it takes AA batteries, which is great, instead of AAAs, like most remotes. And you are going to feed batteries into it. Now, I've already set this uh, to my Flash's channel uh, and group and given it the Flash ID number. So um, it's ready to go you will have to get your settings lined up with your flashes. In the past, what I've always had to do to fire an alien bee is to shoot with a 5D Mark III with a remote on top of it and then in turn a flash on top of that remote. This system is not great. You're going to see a, I've seen constant problems for the last five years using a system like this. The flashes interfere with the remotes, the remotes interfere with the flashes the, the remotes aren't made especially well. They break under the stress of the weight. This, this flash will give out and crack all the time. So the answer is simply to get rid of that remote, use a 600, and this product, which taps into the RT network. It can fire other flashes if you want it to. I probably won't use it for that purpose, but you can put any Canon flash or generic flash in ETTL onto the RT network. Or, more importantly, you can take this guy, stick it on your favorite Paul Buff, stick it on your favorite Flash in general. It will not transmit ETTL information to a monolite because it's connected with a cable. So the cable is unusual. I'm using my own. Um, it's the type of cable you use to get a camera into the remote. So it's a PC sync. It does not refer to personal computer for all you new kids. Plug that into the side of the flash, and then depending on your flash, this one uses a mini jack, a headphone jack, so we'll plug that into the flash. And then basically what you've got is you've got an alien B, in this case an Einstein, attached to the Canon RT network that fires only in manual. Now the reason I use these is because they sh I shoot bounce at receptions, so I want to light the whole room. This flash will still function normally, so you can put a flash cap on it, you can shoot with it directly, you can shoot with it bounce, you can do whatever you want with it. When you turn this flash on, and you set it to shoot as the master, the light on your remote will turn green as well. And so that's it. It's, it's really that simple because the, the link isn't as complicated without the ETTL. It's not as delicate. And so all you have to do is set this up. You can turn this flash all the way down if you don't want it to be in the way. You can completely shut it off for that matter, and you can fire a monolite with no weird remotes and no nonsense. If this gets unplugged, if this goes down, if the flash two breaks, you have a completely independent Canon system there to get the shot without messing it up. And then you can set up as many monolites as you want to, and you can light a, a big empty room, or you can shoot outside in direct sunlight and have real flash power behind the 600 rather than these little battery powered nothings, you can have a real flash with the convenience of shooting like a 600RT is, just transmitting directly from the unit, no remotes, 
no extra batteries, no extra cables. This is very simple. It's a great new product that's really going to simplify things for people who want to use monolights at weddings. And that's Colin Lyons talking about nerdy stuff. <laughs>